Hi guys, um, hopefully uh, this laptop isn't isn't going to give us too much trouble. Um, it's a compact. Uh, not sure what the model number is. I'm sure, it says somewhere on it. There we go. It's quite an old one. Uh, Presario C700. Yeah. Um, so basically, the guy who brought this and says that it's overheating and shutting down. So if we switch it on, it runs for. A a few minutes may well boot into Windows and then it uh, shuts down again. So uh, he's uh, cleaned all the gunk out of the uh, the fan. He said it was all clogged up, uh, but he says it's still doing it. Um, and he brought it to me and asked me if I could uh, do anything with it. Yeah. So uh, let's just see if we can see the fault. So he's just loading Windows at the moment. Just zoom it out a little bit. And you can see. Uh, Okay, there we go. So it's loading windows. If I put my hand by the the vent, I can feel air. You know, there's a good airflow coming through, and it's quite cool. It's not hot. So we go into windows. Yeah, I've just got to focus in there. There you go. So we're loading windows. And again, there's, there's no heat coming off the vent. Uh, but what he says is, after a short period of time, it just shuts down. Uh, Okay, it's all awake and we're in Windows, yeah. I'm not connected to the internet, I haven't got the Wi-Fi attached or Ethernet. Um, it's running. If you can see the mouse pointer on the on the screen and all. Uh, down towards the bottom. Uh. Ah, now the fan's just speeded up on its own and slowed down again. Let's try to open a browser, but there's no. I'm not. I'm not connected to the internet. Let's shut that. Let's see if we just open one or two apps and see if we can get it to actually fail. Yeah. Office. Word. Let's open Word. Fans speeding up and cooling down, but it, there's a little bit of warmth coming out now. It's quite tepid, actually. Yeah. Okay, no, it seems to be working at the moment. No. So yeah, I mean, I mean it's running. Let's just see how long it actually keeps working for before it goes off, yeah? I'll just pause the video. Okay, it runs for about another minute and a half. And then it just switched off, yeah? So it just literally switched off. Just in the middle of whatever I thought I was just open Excel and closed it again. I kept my hand by the vent all the time and it never went much above tepid. Yeah. So whether it is actually overheating, I don't know. That's what he thought it was overheating. Um press the button, it powers straight back on again. Not what heat coming out the vent. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it'll shut down much quicker this time. Loading. Again, there's, there's there's practically no heat coming out of this at all. It's just right, but you feel oh okay, it feels quite warm. Yeah, see now it's trying to do a recovery. Yeah, uh, it feels quite warm under is it the CPU something something about here? Yeah. It's feeling quite hot, there's a little vent there. I wouldn't be surprised if this is, you know, it's asking if you want to repair windows, and then I'll just take to restore it normally. Uh, and then it switches off. Yeah, okay, so that's what it's doing. So I think we need to open this up and let's have a look to see what the problem is, yeah? Okay, so I've got it apart. Um, this almost certainly will be the CPU under here. Um, all this. I mean, I, I'm I'm assuming this has got a CPU in it and a GPU, or a, a CPU and a PCH uh, that both have a heatsink. So basically, this was getting hot in this area, but there was nothing coming out the vent, and the fan was spinning. I got I could feel a good airflow. So I mean, physics basically tells us here uh, that the problem is like most likely going to be heatsink compound. Um, 
if there was some fault on the board like over voltage or something causing the CPU or GPU to get too hot and, and the heatsink system was working then you'd expect a lot of hot air to come out of here yeah? and it doesn't it blows warm occasionally a couple of times but that, that's it uh, so I think uh, we'll get this motherboard out of here and then um, we can have there's obviously a heat sink and a heat pipe here yeah let's just see uh, if we got any uh, compound on, on the ports there yeah okay so I've got the motherboard out uh, a previous uh, technician basically said that he cleaned all the uh, debris out of the fan and yeah, the heat sink of which there was a lot yeah and, and it's been it's been cleared out now pretty well yeah I mean it's still a bit gunky but it's not that's not bad at all it's obviously flowing freely I, I can see through the edge of it easily yeah so that's fine um, so I think we have to take this off and let's have a look to see where it is it looks like this bit here is just held on here by the four screws here basically so it just effectively has a bit of tension in it yeah uh, so let's have a look to see what we've got here Oh, come on. All the other ones have unscrewed apart from one. There's always one, as you say. Yeah, doesn't want to give it up. Let's try a different size screwdriver, see if that'll uh, get it. No. That really doesn't want to. Really doesn't want to come off. No, nope. find another screwdriver again. Yeah, a proper fit. Okay, so yeah, this this uh, this little kit cost me five euros, and it's got me out of trouble many many times. Yeah, with the various different uh, ends. I've got a bigger type one, but this this thing has been very handy. It's more than it paid more than paid for itself. Yeah, so let's have a look what we've got. And what we've got is no heat sink compound, you know what I mean? That's kind of like a slightly oily, which I'm guessing is some sort of compound, but this is just... There's nothing there. This has a pad, yeah? So this pad is in good nick. This one is just like... Uh, crumbly, yeah? Just crumbles. So that that's the uh, obvious problem with this one. Uh, it just goes to show, I mean, you know, some, some jobs are not... Some jobs are not that technical, yeah, but they're still profitable. So, you know, don't <laughs> don't think you're too good for this sort of work. I always say that, yeah. It might not be very technical, but it's still, yeah, it's still work, yeah. So it's got that off there. I'm going to put a little bit of something decent on this thing. So um, I'll just get a bit of uh, isopropyl and just try and wipe off the... Uh, wipe off the uh, remains of that yeah i tell you what i'm struggling to get all of this stuff i don't know where i just don't know where to get this from i mean that's all i have left yeah I mean, where do i get isopropyl alcohol okay oh, it's a bit of kitchen well there's an electronic shop up in the capital and they don't have it okay huh. CPU's on a socket on this thing, so we can only <laughs> it could be upgraded. And it doesn't really want to come off that, but I've got I'm, I'm pretty much uh, got a fair bit of the dye that we can actually see. Uh, I mean that really is caked on there. I might have to pick it off there. You obviously don't want to get anything abrasive on this, you know. Just a bit, bit of a fingernail, yeah. Let's see if we can actually uh, clean it up. What is this processor? 2 gigahertz, 1 meg cache, 533. That's all it says. Hmm. It is what it is. 550 something. SLA2E. I could always look that up. SLA2E. Okay. 
So yeah, let's get a bit of heat sink compound on this and then let's uh, put it back together and see if it actually works now. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is almost too good for this, yeah. A bit of MX4 thermal compound, uh, but we don't, we don't need a lot of it. Uh, so I have to buy some more of this soon actually. Uh, okay, so there's just a spot on there, oops. Even that's probably too much, yeah, but that's small. Small is the amount I can get to come out of it, yeah. Uh, so if we just uh, spread it up onto the, the CPU itself, yeah, the, the bit has gone off the end. There we go. Just a little bit of stuff you don't need. Only a little bit of this stuff, yeah. Uh, we can just check that actually, just by resting the uh, the uh, heat sink against it, yeah. Okay, so if we just literally just set this in place across there, yeah, let's make sure it's on. If it's making a good contact, yeah, it's all spread out, yeah. Okay, so let's tighten this back down here. It looks like, uh, I mean, these screws obviously numbered, yeah, one, two, three, four. Must be like a head gasket, you know, on the cars. So effectively, you have to tighten the screws in the, the correct order, yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll just uh, get us back on here then uh, we'll put it back together and let's see if uh, our bit of MX4 will uh, do a good job on this one yeah and it won't be shutting down anymore with a bit of luck. Let's just go round these in the correct order. Yeah. There we go. Set. Just get, just get your screw down properly. Yeah, let's go in. Yep, that's down. Okay, guys, so, uh, yeah, we'll put it back together and see if our simple fix has now got this thing working, yeah? Let's, let's do that. Okay, so, yeah, I've had it on for about 20 minutes now. Um, and it's running fine, yeah. It's not seems to be having more problems with it. Um, so I think uh, we can see that's repaired. There's not a lot of heat coming out of it. So it's a little bit of warmth. Yeah. In fact, actually, obviously, there's more heat coming out of it now than there was previously. Yeah, which sort of goes to show as I was saying that um, basically um, it wasn't conducting the heat from this processor. No heat sitting compound. Okay, that was a quick fix, a uh, quick one, but just goes to show sometimes this is, you know, it's not always difficult. Yeah, sometimes you get an easy one and it's just worth checking the obvious things first. So, I thought this was fixed and it went back to the customer uh, for a, a couple of weeks or more actually. And uh, it's come back again with the same problem. It, it, it's, and I actually, I run Specky on it this time. So I put Specky on and I found the CPU is running at about 90 degrees, even though in the task manager it's only operated at about 15% performance. Yeah, And if you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes, the processor gradually wanders around, gets up to about 95, and then it shuts down, yeah. Uh, so, putting the good thermal compound on didn't fix the problem, and the ventilator's not clogged up, and the fans are running. But the fan doesn't blow very warm. When I took the top off, it's cooled down now, but this part of the heat sink, the, the, the copper heat pipe, is like really hot, yeah. And even I think you can see the CPU if I zoom down. Looks like it's running hot. You see, like, like a kind of like a, a bit of a, a, a bit of like a discoloration around it. Yeah, can you, can you see it? Yeah, there. Uh, so it's definitely running too hot. And I mean, I thought, well, is the CPU voltage? too you know too high effectively for some reason but i doubt this thing even has settings in the bios for that sort of thing or for uh, optimal and <coughs> you know fail safe i, I don't know uh, so what i'm thinking now is it might still be a physical problem uh, so i'm going to open it back up again and i'll uh, show you what i think it might be uh, but i could be wrong <laughs> and let's see what we find Okay, I've got the PCB out, and what I think is happening here, but it's supposition because I've not come across it before, but it kind of makes sense to me, is that 
I put like MX4 on here, yeah, and this you've got the thermal compound on a bit, a bit of MX4 as well, plus the original pad. And the CPU is getting like 90 degrees or so and then shutting down eventually. And what I think is happening, this is very hot. And obviously like physics says it conducts the heat across here into this little, little radiator type thing here. So the fan sits here blowing air through. And the fan's blowing, in fact, as it gets hot, the fan gets faster, yeah, it speeds up. And the fan's good, the fan's spinning just fine, as far as I can say, yeah. And this radiator thing, if I just zoom down on it, the other, the other technician who looked at it before me, he cleaned all the dust out of it, it was all completely clogged up, yeah. But it's not now, if I get my torch, yeah, and put it underneath it, and shine it through, you can see very clearly that, it's 90% okay, yeah. There's no, nothing really blocking that up. But what I'm thinking is that all this corrosion, let me see if I can get this into focus properly. Let's have a look. Can we do it? Maybe at the limit. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm thinking that all this corrosion on here is effectively stopping the heat conducting between between the heat pipe and the radiator so in fact the heat pipe gets hot it doesn't conduct the heat into the radiator so the air isn't particularly warm and the thing runs too hot that's, that's my that's my guess on this i've not googled for it and i've not seen it before but i think that's what the problem is with it but the problem is i don't know how to fix it but I, th I don't know how to fix it really unless i just get a new one of these yeah but i do know how to test it i think and that's if i attach one thermocouple onto here and monitor the temperature and attach another one onto here and monitor the temperature uh, without the fan running initially i just have the fan not blowing through and there shouldn't be any much that much difference you know maybe 10 degrees i don't know I don't, there shouldn't be a lot of difference between the temperature of the two in fact because they're supposed to be bonded together there probably really shouldn't be any difference that's the whole idea of this yeah so let's see if we can actually get it powered up you know just as it is I'll just connect an external monitor and so as it's working. And let's see if uh, we can prove this is the case or not, yeah? Okay, so <clears throat> this one's on the uh, CPU. And this, well, no, it's not on the CPU, sorry. This one's on the heat pipe towards this end underneath, yeah? Near where the heat pipe reaches the, the uh, radiator fins, basically. Yeah, it's just before there. And this one... Is on the radiator fin so I'm expecting I'll power this up I've got no hard drive attached right now but I'm thinking that I shouldn't see a lot of difference between the two the fan has kind of not pointing at the ventilator so I'm just going to switch it on well, let's see is it running and the fan's gone off it says it's on Maybe I need to connect the hard drive as well, actually, so I can get it to boot into Windows and generate some temperature, yeah? Okay, I've just got the hard drive. I'll just uh, zoom in and just show you what goes upside down, where the thermocouple is actually attached, yeah? So, this one is attached onto the heat pipe here. Onto the heat pipe just about an inch or a bit less before the radiator yeah and the other one just uh, flip this over with the hard drive attached okay balance the fan again let's just zoom out a little bit okay there we go the other one had now moved so the other one's attached to the fins here yeah so they're fairly close to each other one on the fins and one on the heat pipe Okay, so we're all on. This is just reading the ambient temperature of the workshop now. I mean, it is like getting towards mid-October, so it's cooling down a bit here, yeah. What bit it does cool down like. Uh, power on. Boot it up. And hopefully it'll load, the, uh, load from the hard drive now and generate some warmth. Yeah, the hard drive LED is flashing. I don't have a keyboard or a mouse on. Well, let's see what happens with these two temperature uh, gauges as it warms up, yeah? I'll, uh, 
I'll probably walk, I'll pause the video and just give it a bit of time to actually warm a bit, yeah? I mean, so far, there doesn't seem to be a lot of difference. I'll be quite honest, the fans just come back on again, yeah? Let's see what happens. Give it a few minutes. No, I must admit, that's not making much difference. I mean, I thought I would see quite a difference there. The CPU's quite hot, but there's not much, you know, not much heat getting as far as here. That's strange. Uh, let's just, well, I mean, let's just see if this is, uh, I don't know if it is or not, but let's just see if this is vehicle, yeah, on these capacitors here. Ground. Hmm. Uh, 1.15 mm. That doesn't look unreasonable for vehicle. Still loading off the hard drive. And still not a lot of practically no difference in the temperature here. Okay, so it seems like that theory isn't gonna get us anywhere, yeah. Seems like that theory's gonna get us any nowhere. Let's shut it down and let's stick one of the uh temperature probes onto the, the the heat pipe near this end yeah let's see what happens then okay i've now connected it back up upside down yeah so this thermocouple is fastened here yeah just where the cpu is and then the other one is fastened just here where the heat pipe is by the radiator yeah i've pointed the fan away from it so i don't want to be cooling this down particularly but I want the fan attached just in case it needs to detect it's running or something. I mean, there's only two wires, so I doubt it. But I can also see the fan speed up as it gets warm, yeah. So let's uh, try this. It should be ready to go. Start this up. And let's see. Um, oh, poor dude. Let's put the hard drive on. So to that off again for a moment. So attach the hard drive. Let's give it something to do. Okay. That's all fine. Now let's uh, give it a go and see what happens. Okay. That's okay. I, I did this before the fan came on and went off again. It's warming up, so it's obviously on, yeah. Right, let's give that a few minutes and see what happens now. Well, this is much more dramatic. I mean, look, the CPU is now at 50 degrees, and this has hardly even changed. And surely the whole idea of the heat pipe is it, it's a heat pipe, yeah. So I'm just going to run the uh, specy. I've got it connected to my monitor. <coughs> um, and you, you can see, uh, yeah, you can see the laptops running. I've got it on the monitor here. Yeah? So this is this is specy running now, yeah. And um, yeah, temperatures going up on the CPU. Let's let's back over here a moment. There we are. I'll show you spec again in a minute when it starts running. It's not, it's not fast this year. But in fact, the temperature is now going down here, and yet the fan isn't blowing on it, yeah? And the temperature up here is getting hot, okay? And then this seems to be what the problem is. Effectively, the heat pipe doesn't work. Now, I've noticed here there's like a kind of a scrunch damage bit on it, and I'm wondering if that's actually... Well, I've not... I've never... I've never even looked at this problem before, so I don't know. Somebody else obviously is shouting at the screen because you've done this before, but can the kink at the heat pipe there stop a heat pipe from working? Look at the 25 degree difference from just from one side to the other. Is that normal? Is that normal? And the thing's just. Uh... Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm in my head, well, look, this isn't changing, and that should to me this does change. Yeah. Uh... It should look 30, 29.4, yeah. Okay, now according to Specky, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it, yeah. So the CPU is now at 84, yeah. And that'll keep going up. 87. Uh, this is telling me 60. Obviously, expect some difference, you know, with the heatsink compound. Look, it's over 90 now, yeah. This is reading 60, but this isn't changing. And that tells me this heat pipe doesn't work, okay? Yeah. This eventually will just shut down, okay? This will just shut down after a while. Take could take a while, but it will shut down, okay? So that's what I have with this. Um, okay. 
so yeah let me uh i'll shut this down now because that that's enough to prove the point i think yeah it's on 92 now i've just had it shut down so this increases with the cpu we expect it to but this doesn't and to me that's where the problem is. that's why this isn't working i'm sure of it yeah okay let's let's switch off and i'll show you what i think okay so i've taken this off now and this is hot and this is cold there's near as damage but you you can see that yeah and this is like like he's been crushed or something there yeah And from the best I can see, this is no longer conducting heat, basically. It, like it, you know, it doesn't conduct past here. Are these things full of anything? Are they just like metal tubers or some heat conductive gunk inside them? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm confident that's what the problem is with this. I'm going to take it to the customer and explain that to them. Um, I'd be interested to know what you guys think, because I've not come across this before. Uh, so am I right? Uh, is this damage here enough to stop a heat pipe from working? Okay guys, over to you. Let's see what you think.